With ever-increasing drilling rig rates as high as $1 million per day, there is significant value in reducing trips for wireline sampling tools. The Sperry Drilling Geotap IDS Fluid Identification and Sampling While Drilling Sensor does just that, eliminating the need for wireline sample tests, thus reducing the long pump-out times associated with obtaining clean wireline samples. Multiple fluid samples are obtained within hours rather than days of drilling the formation. As the well is drilled, the Geotap IDS sensor is positioned in the logging while drilling bottom hole assembly. It may be placed anywhere in the BHA, but typically it is right above the formation evaluation sensor most critical to identifying the potential reservoir that will require further evaluation. As the bit penetrates the target formation, invasion from the drilling fluid occurs along the well bore. Invasion continues and deepens as long as the hole remains open. These invasive mud filtrates are undesirable for accurate reservoir analysis and must be removed in order to obtain a clean, uncontaminated fluid sample. Typically, a sample should have less than 5% contamination. Run in the drilling BHA, the Geotap IDS sensor has the advantage of near real-time sampling, which greatly reduces formation cleanup time because less formation damage has occurred from invasion due to the short exposure time to the drilling fluids. Using LWD correlation measurements, the Geotap IDS sensor is positioned opposite the target formation. A command is sent to the tool. The test pad extends against the formation. And multiple drawdown tests are performed to measure formation pressure and to calculate the mobility of formation fluid. If these values are within the expected range, you can elect to gather samples. A command to commence the pump-out operation is sent while the oval pad is still positioned on the formation. As the flushing pump begins pulling the mud filtrate from the formation, a bubble point measurement of these initial fluids is taken to benchmark the invasion fluids. If these values are within the expected range, you can elect to gather samples. In addition, the flushing pump pulls the fluids past fluid identification sensors that can measure temperature, pressure, resistivity, capacitance, and density of the fluid. Over time, the fluids being pumped through the Geotap IDS sensor become less contaminated with mud filtrates. The changes in the contamination are monitored continuously with the fluid identification sensors and also by multiple bubble point measurements taken while pumping. The formation fluid sample can be taken once two conditions are met. First, the bubble point measurement has to achieve a new constant value different from the initial measurement made when pumping commenced. Second, the continuous fluid ID measurements have to reach a steady value different than their initial values indicating cleanup. Right now, we can see from the density measurement with a precision of 0.003 grams per cubic centimeter that the values have changed from the initial value to a much lower number, but are still changing slightly. The resistivity measurement also appears to be stabilizing. Once the sensor responses have stabilized, indicating that cleanup has been achieved, the fluid is diverted to a series of one liter sample chambers through a zero shock chamber where 15 or more chambers can be filled. Each chamber is identified and measured during the fill process and is overpressured to permit a PVT quality sample to be brought to the surface after drilling is completed. If a single phase sample is required, the one liter chambers are charged with nitrogen to a pressure determined during pre-job planning. Multiple samples may be collected at a single station. Once you are satisfied with the quality and the number of the samples collected, the pump is stopped, the probe is retracted, and the drilling operation is free to continue. Later, additional tests and samples in other zones may be performed and collected. Formation pressure measurements, fluid ID determinations, and sample collection may take as little as a few minutes or up to several hours depending on the formation characteristics and the job requirements. 
Since this process is performed during the drilling operation, the data will be obtained in real time and the samples will be available immediately after the BHA has returned to surface. Sperry Drilling's Geotap IDS sensor saves you the time and expense of running a wireline sampling tool.